Hey, all right, so it's uh, week 10, this is lecture 20, and I think what I want to do today is to have a couple questions Serenity had, so I'll go ahead and answer those on the hydrogen. Um, yeah, they were, they were valid, uh, valid questions, so let me, let me go into the hydrogen exam. from last week. Um, and I'll just do the problems that, um, that were... Okay. Um, at the present time, commercial hydrogen is made from which process? So let's just take a look for that. So I'm just going to read uh, here from the book, Hydrogen Production. So this is uh, page 247. It says that hydrogen can be produced from renewable as well as non-renewable fuels. Another thing to keep in mind is that um, there, there are almost more hydrogen atoms in just about any biomass than any other type of atoms. At least that's up by an atomic count uh, for on a per mass basis, since carbon, for example, is 12 times less massive than carbon, you're not going to have as great a mass count, but in terms of the total number of atoms, hydrogen is typically the most um, abundant. So hydrogen production, this is 9.3 on 247. Hydrogen can be, do, can be produced from re renewable as well as non-renewable fuel sources. Um, renewable fuel sources include, so water, H2O obviously, uh, biomass, as I just mentioned, a lot of hydrogen in biomass, and from conventional fuels. So yeah, we, we, we've discussed uh, all the alkanes and obviously hydrogen is a major component in the, in the alkanes. Fuel processing technologies convert a hydrogen containing material, such as gasoline, an alkane, ammonia, or methanol into a hydrogen rich stream. Fuel processing of methane is the most common hydrogen production method in use today. Figure 9 one shows the various production technologies. So natural gas is methane. It's right here on, on um, figure 9-1. I'm just looking right there. Uh, and then to reforming. And then that can go into high temperature fuel cells, for example. So the question, um, present time, Commercial hydrogen. The the point there is that it's uh, it's it's methane reforming. So that's that's the answer to that guy. Straight from the book. I mean, these are methods, but as the book says, this is the the most conventional for commercial scale. Okay. So the next question asks: um, Hydrogen has the widest flammability limits of any fuel. Well. Um, Again, I don't, I don't see a specific answer to this in the book, but the flammability limits in air by volume are 4% uh, to 75%. So if you, if you have 4% oxygen, I'll just go ahead and write that out. So let's, let's look at it this way. Um, so let's just take a uh, chunk of air. And we know, and so we'll just say this is 4% uh, H2 all the way up to 75% um, H2. Mm -hmm. So the, the point here is if you have less than 4% hydrogen, there's not enough of it to explode. And down here, if you have more than 75% hydrogen, there's not enough oxygen for it to explode. So in this case, um, uh, hydrogen is the limit. And down here, O2 is the limiting. Because remember, in this remaining fraction, you've got 20% um, O2 and 80% um, 80% and two, and remember this is 20% of 96% and 80% of 96%. Same deal over here, you could have 20% O2 
O2 and 80% N2. In this case, there's just not enough oxygen for this thing to explode. So um, we'll just go with go with true because that's a very uh, very wide range. Let's see if that's correct or not. Okay, and then the next question, it says, a sealed room is filled with pure hydrogen. So let's just draw that picture. And again, these pictures are, are super simple, but um, I, I think you can note that, you know, let's just start with something that's visual. And a lot of times the, the visual is easier to deal with than, um, you know, equations, symbols. So what we're starting out with is 100%. H2. And what we're going to do is just open a little um, crack and let the O2 uh, plus the N2 leak into the room. And so the question is, as it leaks in, uh, at what fraction are, are you able to actually get an explosion? So um, since the flammability ratio is 75%, it means that there's this chunk over here this remaining 25% at which the explosion takes place. So as this, as this O2 and N2 leaks in, as soon as you get to that 25%, boom, you can get your uh, explosion. H2, boom. All right, so back here to the question. It, the answer is 25%, so none of the above. All right, so for those three, let's see how we did. Let's see how we did. Submit and finish. All right, and I got, um, I got all three correct. So hopefully that helps answer the questions on, on uh, you know, just, just clarifies um, what's going on there with the hydrogen flammability. Just, and then also just to go back over the, uh, the stoichiometry of this, you know, again, it's also quite simple. You just have um, H2 plus O2. Uh, when they combine, they create water, H to O, and then to um, then to balance this, you put two of these guys to double your water content, and then now you need a pair of hydrogens in order to make it uh, make it all work out. So that's it from a molar concentration, and then what I was showing here above was just the uh, the volumetric concentrations. All right, hope that helps, and we'll see you soon.